me to a party so I wouldn't have to go by myself. And she bought him a seersucker suit. It was real pretty. And I guess he must have been about 13 or 14. So we went to a dance one night and we walked. And while we were there, it came a storm. <laughs> it rained on him. <laughs> and he had on that new suit. And it drew, and it, you know how stuff used to draw up when yeah. he got wet. <laughs> then he couldn't wear it anymore. And he was <laughs> mad at me because he didn't have anything to wear. <laughs> What is that stuff made out of wool? That seersucker? Seersucker, I don't know. I always liked it though. Hmm. Did he find a girlfriend? No, he wasn't looking for one. Did he ever have any girlfriends out on the farm? Nope. No? Never even looked at one. <laughs> huh. I Over, guess... When we'd go to school, everybody in school would be looking around doing something silly. Yeah. Talking. Mark would be sitting there studying. <laughs> ah. Yeah, me, I was being the class clown, acting up, getting in trouble for something. Well, I was sitting there laughing because Curtis would be doing something he wasn't supposed to. He and one other boy just kept us in stitches most of the time. They'd take their handkerchief out and hold it up to their nose and blow, and then it'd <laughs> billow out in front of them, you know, and make the awfulest sound. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Curtis and something else. <laughs> you ever get in trouble in school? No. No? You didn't do nothing silly? Oh, I sit there and laugh, but that teacher didn't care. Now, she more. told me one time, she said, if you didn't make such good grades, she said, I'd make you sit in the corner all the time. <laughs> <laughs> just for laughing, huh? Yeah, yeah, just for sitting there laughing at Curtis and Skeeter. Curtis right. and who? Boy named Skeeter Hannah. Skeeter? Uh huh. Huh? Oh, he was crazy. Yeah. He and Curtis together, they were something else. No, I, uh, we stayed out of school for a month to help on the farm, you know. We were still picking cotton. And when we started the school, uh, uh, I, I had been in the sixth grade. and. The teacher asked me where my report card was, and I said, I don't have one. And she said, well, what grade are you in? And I said, I'll be in the seventh. She said, you will? And I said, yes. So she gave me a test, and I passed everything, so it <laughs> put me in seventh grade. Oh, well, you didn't even have to kill a rat, huh? <laughs> I didn't have to kill a rat. <laughs> That's good. <clears throat> well, a lot of the kids stayed out of school September, you know, because that's when you finish picking cotton. Yeah. And then September, and then they'd be late, like a month late for school. So they'd have to catch up somehow, huh? But I had already learned a lot of Spanish, and... Uh, well, I learned Spanish from the, from the Mexican. Yeah. I said I had to text mix Spanish. <laughs> anyway, we took a test in Spanish. Of course, I knew what the words were. One of the old boys was looking at it, and one of them was no I to K, which means I don't know, you know. Uh-huh. And he kept saying, no hay today. No hay today. <laughs> and she said, what are you talking about? <clears throat> and he said, well, that's what it says. No hay today. <laughs> <laughs> My room was upstairs when I was out at Armstrong. And 
you have to go down and go through the library and go to the restroom and it was outdoors. So one other old boy, one other great big old guy, one day we went down, I made up like I had to go to the restroom. He was already down there. He got a basketball. He said, let's play hockey. And I said, well, it suits me. He hit the ball and it went out the window, broke the window. <laughs> <laughs> Playing what? hockey with a basketball. <laughs> yeah. He didn't care. He didn't know what hockey was. He, he just going to play. And Uncle Lee was on the school board. Ah. And I just knew Uncle Lee was going to find out I was down there. But he never did say anything. Yeah. I guess he figured you didn't knock the ball out the window anyway. I didn't knock it out the window. Steal lunches. And the piano was, the music room was on the bottom floor. Yeah. And where the library was. And he had steal somebody's lunch and take it and put it in the top of the piano. <laughs> woman was trying to play the piano and making all this sound you heard. Yeah. And when she looked up there, well, there was a whole bunch of lunches in there. <laughs> was he going to get them later or what? Yeah, he'd he get them a recess and eat them. <laughs> <laughs> There's one old boy and he stole his, his lunch every day. And uh, one day, well, Charles said, I'm going to fix him. He, he steals my lunch. said, I'll fix him. So the next day, he didn't bring anything but onion and cornbread. So Ellis White stole his lunch, of course. And when he got it, well, all he found was that onion and cornbread. He chased, he chased Charlie all over the school ground. <laughs> <laughs> For just having an onion and cornbread? Yeah. That's all he had, I didn't go on the